Ooh. This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Stall. Harve the Machine. Um, look, first things first, you've been doing some training, training with me and Jay. Um, just your background in sort of the fitness industry and everything. Uh, so I've been uh, training for, with um, Jamie for about um, six, seven years. Um, since he sold me with match room boxing, um, I used to go to a gym in Birmingham called uh, Team Desk Fitness, just as a keep fitter, really. Yeah. But then I met Jamie um, through Des, and we just hit it off from there. Yeah. Just clicked it from there. Like he'll do his session at like, for example, like I'll train at ten, he'll train at eleven, but I'll stay behind to out push him, and then it just clicked from there. I was going to say, I know that's a fact, and Jay will be able to reiterate this, but that one S&C condition I did, he had me dead. I think even you were tired, but he looked like he was ready to go for a couple more rounds. Yeah, I've just got like this uh, mindset, really, of just not quitting. Like As growing up, I always used to be like um, never really interested in fitness. I was always quite a fat person, and I lost a lot of weight. I was like 17 stone. Um, as like a 16 year old and I've dropped all my weight and I've, al I've always been into boxing training but I've never actually um, been able to never been able to just situation. get that, to that extra level yeah. the, the next level with it but I've always um, stuck to it and uh, maintained my fitness levels and uh, now doing this with Jamie it just seems like I'm at the right place yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, and again it's like it just seems right that I'm here yeah well, look, we, we've got his return, um, sort of a rejuvenation of his career, I suppose, a second step in his career, BKFC. Um, you're taking him through the process. Have you found sort of some of the stuff that you were doing uh, when Jamie was in the pros as to now has changed a little bit? Obviously, much more explosive style. Do you find you're doing more with him that's sort of going to sort the, um, suit the 5-2s rather than the 12-3s? Yeah, a lot more um, speed work. So um, with the uh, professional boxing, it was a lot, a lot of 12, three-minute rounds and more um, endurance. With, and with the five, two-minute rounds, it's just a 10-minute fight, a lot more explosive, a lot more power, um, more like anaerobic conditioning, which is more like, like 10 yeah. seconds, 20 seconds, like bursts, get that quick, in, quick recovery, and then you go again. Obviously, as someone who's Jamie's mate, like myself, when he first says to you, He's doing BKFC. What's your thoughts? Because my first thought was, what a crazy motherfucker. Was it sort of similar for you or did you sort of... I mean, what was your mindset at first when you first heard? Well, it was quite crazy, actually, because I never actually saw Jamie for about um, two years. And I think it was around about this time last year, I, uh, me and my brother came down to do some training with him. And uh, that was the day that he had... Um, communication with the BKFC okay. on, to the, on that very day so it just seemed like it was like felt um, perfect, yeah. it felt like a perfect timing to come back and like um, I was just thinking made for it Do you think with you something that may motivate you and I think similar since I've sort of started to do more in the fitness um, being able to work with people like Jamie and then when we're at the gym and we've got people that are involved in boxing on a day to day do you feel like that spurs you on for me I needed to kick up the arse and being able to be around people like yourself sort of gave me that motivation um, does it give you added motivation um, it does give me added motivation but like like my background, I've always been very independent yeah. as like a person. I've always done things on my own. I always find it, um, I find it difficult to be around certain types of people. Mm. I know it sounds a bit strange, like I'm with Jamie and I'm with you, but like, I don't know, it's just more... Yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. Um, look, we'll wrap it up now, but we do await Jamie Cox's BKFC debut. I imagine you will be there all fight week, um, probably not putting him as much through the paces on fight week as you will definitely in camp. But um, looking forward to the return and looking forward to seeing an explosive Jamie Cox come April 22nd. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think uh, what's in that? Alvin Brito yeah. is going to fight. He can bring all the chipmunks he wants. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Jamie will just land a, a nice woof there. Oh, top man, thank you for speaking to us at Boxing Social. First of many, and first of many of us training, that's for sure.